interesting. Very interesting. Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Welcome to my review for Civil War. No, not that Civil War. <laughs> Civil War, the new Alex Garland movie. You know who Alex Garland is? He is a independent filmmaker who's made movies like Ex Machina, Men, uh, Annihilation, and stuff like that. I loved Ex Machina. I think that is his best movie. Loved it. So good. Still holds up. Really solid film. Annihilation. I enjoyed it when I first watched it. My God, upon rewatching it multiple, multiple times, does not hold up. Not a fan of it. Men, horrible movie. Shit movie. <laughs> when I watched that movie, I was like, I don't know if I could have the respect for this filmmaker as I did when I saw Ex Machina. <laughs> but Civil War, here's the movie to finally see what he's all what he's all about. This is the first like kind of bigger budget movie, more like epic and really like crazy political story like this is to show everyone what he's got like it's not just like a low budget indie film this is a bigger movie what does he have he has something to say now is alex garland a tremendous filmmaker that we all thought he was when he made ex machina i still don't know <laughs> so okay i should put the title did i love it or hate it because i'm a little both but I think I'm leaning more positive than negative on this movie. I might need to rewatch this movie a couple times because uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a kind of movie. I'm either going to rewatch it again and love it, or rewatch it again and fucking hate it. Like, I don't know. Like, it's sticking with me, which is good. This is what movies should be doing. You should be, like, thinking about it and thinking about the messaging and talking about it with people and, uh, dissecting it and just when a movie makes you think for for hours and days and it's a good thing it's a good thing until you hate it then it's a bad thing <laughs> civil war is literally about an american civil war happening about presidency almost about a dictatorship and the civilians overthrowing the government anarchy and stuff the military going against it and stuff i think what is it texas and california unite together it's a lot of the stories of these reporters getting to the capital and stuff and going through all the chaos and everything I think children of men but not as smart <laughs> um I was so worried about this movie, not because Alex Garland was directing it and I hated his last movie, but the political messaging, because this is a heavy political messaging film, and you're going to piss off someone. Because um, when you make a heavy-handed political message film, it's going to go one way, left or right. And he was claiming that this was a centrist sort of movie, not a, not a Democratic or Republican message movie, but Alex Garland is clearly... Democratic, which nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying shit. Nothing wrong with a liberal movie, man. Like if he wants to make a liberal political messaging movie, that's okay. Because this is the kind of movie. It's called Civil War. I'm expecting that. It's not like I'm watching a superhero movie and they're heavy handed with that shit. But anyways, I was just curious how he was gonna do it. And some of it is done fucking superbly well. I will fully admit that. Some of it is really good. There are some moments in this movie that are top-notch. Acting, directing-wise, writing-wise, sensational. I'm not going to spoil what scenes. There are moments, though. Really good moments. Really good. Jesse Plemons is in this movie as a soldier. He kills it. He is the great, the best in this movie. Nick Offerman is really good, too. I think he was really good. Kirsten Dunst is even good, too. It's good to see her in movies. Um, there are some conversations. I wish the movie was more dialogue. The movie... The one messaging I don't always agree with movies like this is, like, use violence and ask questions later and stuff. And I wish there was more conversations in this movie. It was more just kind of instant answers and just... Boom, get there, boom, get there. But I get it, it's more of like a thriller, action thriller kind of movie. Um, and there are some great set pieces, and there's some intense ass moments, some dark, heavy moments. Then there's just moments that lost me, and I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, there's just like, 
I don't know. It, it's near the third act, and there's just some moments just with certain characters, conversations, certain incidents, and certain, like, instant gratification kind of things. And I'm like, that's how you're going to do? Uh, so close. So close. Could have been amazing. <laughs> there's just... I wanted that just... I thought the movie was going to have this certain payoff in my head, but it does something else, and I just was not satisfied with that. And I'm just like, really? Oh, okay. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. Just, and there, there are heavy-handed moments in conversations that are very one-sided. Like Because when you make a political movie, whether it is left-wing or right-wing, you're going to get some one-sided bullshit with conversations with certain characters, and it's just something you're going to have to deal with. And that's fine. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. A uh, <laughs> little annoying, but I can get past that. But acting-wise, a lot of the actors were really solid, especially Jesse Plemons. And there was just some really well-directed moments and there's some really good scenes. Good scenes. The movie itself, I just don't know if I can call it great. Because there's a lot of moments I didn't like. And then there's moments that I thought were too heavy-handed. And I thought there were moments with too much instant gratification. And there was moments too one-sided. There was moments that just I don't think it was done well structured-wise. And just, I don't know. I, is a story like this awesome? And it can be awesome, of course. And I don't know. Maybe you just needed a different director. But yeah, I, like, I left the screening for this movie. And I was talking to a guy I met in there, and um, he was saying, like, did you like the movie? And I'm like, I don't know yet. I really don't know. There are moments, there are scenes I loved. There are moments I loved in this movie. But as a whole, did I love it? Not particularly, no. But there's good shit in it. And I can tell this is a movie that's going to probably... I think it's going to be like an Oscar kind of movie. I think people are going to love the shit out of this movie. I think people will love it and they'll call out some of their... I think this will be on a lot of people's like favorites of the year. I can see it. I understand it. It won't be on mine, but I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I stuck it, stuck out to it. It's just stuck, snuck out to it. <laughs> I came out to see it. That's why I was trying to say. My God. English language. Not good on my part, apparently. Uh, but yeah, so war, glad I saw it, great moments, the film itself, wouldn't call great, wouldn't call bad either, kind of pretty good. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Civil War, fuck, see this is a, this is sometimes why I hate the grade systems, because I don't know what to grade it, I don't know, I don't know what to do. You know what, I'll go positive, I'm going to go 7 out of 10. For now, because some of the moments are truly fantastic. But it, this can go up or down. So, yeah. Maybe I'll make a part two. <laughs> if my mind changes. Alright, so let me know. Are you excited for Civil War? Uh, is this a movie uh, you think is going to be a like, top ten contender? Best film of the year? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the dark side.